it's important to make sure shell elements are aligned. We'll demonstrate why by first looking at a mesh with solid elements. This is a plot of X direction stress on a model of a beam in bending, but meshed with solid elements. You can see the top surface is in compression because the stress is negative at minus 3000 psi. And the bottom surface is in tension because the stress is positive at plus 3000 psi. Now we'll look at the same model, but this time meshed with shell elements on the mid surface of the beam. This is not a typical application for shell elements, but it is good for illustration. You'll notice immediately that shell elements have no displayed thickness. Here we've entered the thickness manually using the beam height, but typically the thickness is picked up from a sheet metal definition. The shells have what is called a top face and a bottom face. The top face is typically colored the same as the part or surface body, in this case gray. The bottom face is colored orange by default from a setting in the simulation properties. Let's view the shell elements on edge. This graphic shows how the software determines top and bottom face stress variation by accounting for the thickness value. You can see the arrows show the top face is in compression and the bottom face is in tension. The software allows you to choose which face to display on a contour plot. If we plot the X direction stress component and choose the top face option, we see compression with a blue color as expected. The value is minus 3000 psi. Now edit definition and choose the bottom face component for the shell element stresses. We see tension with a red color as expected. The value is plus 3000 psi. Now what if the shells are not aligned? Here is the same surface body with shell elements not aligned. Now plot the X direction stress and choose the top face option. The stress on the top face of elements in this area are in compression or minus 3000 psi. That's because the top face of these elements face upward. The stress on the other half of the model is in tension or plus 3000 psi because the top face of these elements are facing downward. Notice at the junction the stress is zero. The contour plot is adding minus 3000 psi from this side and plus 3000 psi from this side, which adds to zero. You can pre-select a face, then from a right click menu on the mesh icon, choose the flip command. At this point you'll need to rerun the analysis and plot the results again.